Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Luna. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with the power recap, and yeah. I'm gonna honestly say, this has been the episode of the season for me. Yeah, this is one of the best episodes right here. Right here tonight. My mind yeah. is still all over the place. Yeah. But we're gonna get into it. Gonna take it away. Oh, let me do the YouTube thing. Hey. If you're not a fan member, which means you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure your bell is pressed in. Go ahead and rate the video. <clears throat> thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't even matter at this point. You're already here. Indeed. Lego. Yeah, like we said, this is one of the best episodes of the season. I felt like it was the old power again, the strategy. Not was... quite. I'm not what? quite. What? Not quite. To me, it, it gave me a little bit of the old power that I used to. Maybe not for her, but it did it for me. Yeah. All the <laughs> strategies was on point. So pretty much we picked up where we left off last week. That ghost trying to step up and be the man and say, you know what? I'm going to take the rap for this Ray Ray killer. Hmm. So Angela immediately goes into cop mode on him and starts asking the questions that the jury is going to ask him when he get up there. And he couldn't answer. I like that she did that. Yeah. Because he won't think it. He thinking, I, I need to get my son off. So this is what I'm going to do. So she, he was like, if you slow down, I can answer the question. And Tasha was like, they ain't, ain't going to do works. that for you up there. So he was like, oh, man, we need to come up with another strategy. So put them up with the strategy is they want Angela and Tasha wants to frame Kane for the whole thing. Ghosts don't think it's going to work. Mm -hmm. He wants to frame Dre because, after all, he keeps saying if it wasn't for Dre, Tariq wouldn't even be all up in this stuff. Mm -hmm. And Kane was the one who saved Tariq. So exactly. We, and I don't try to kill him a few times yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> so, now we're not going to go down this road no more. Exactly. So, it's still ghost, still reflecting the fact that it's still y'all fault. It ain't only Dre's fault. It's your fault, Tasha's fault, all y'all because mm -hmm. all y'all is in the game. And Tariq is learning from y'all. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. Huh? huh? Keep note of what he just said. Yeah. <laughs> don't fall too far from the tree. So, we see finally Tommy got an opportunity to, for uh, Teresi and Connie to meet uh, Keisha. But the funny thing is, when they came in the house, Connie was like, Hey, Tommy, you got, that's that the cook? I was like, what? I said, did so you, we really, did you back really do that? Yeah. <laughs> Like you saw a yeah. black woman in there, oh, so she, so she automatically had to be the cook or the maid. So Tommy, he played it off. It was like, come on, Keisha, come on over here. This is my girl. And they was like, oh, oh, really? Man, come on now. I said, mm-mm. He should be better than me. Yeah. He gonna bite you over for dinner and you, f yeah, we ain't doing that. I was gonna say, what, what black cook stands in the kitchen that looks like that, that's being, yeah. that's hired, you know, hired yeah, for high help. help. Yeah. Well, unless it's Floyd Mayweather's girl, somebody <laughs> like that. You know, that's a little different. But Tommy? Teresa. Hey, Connie. <laughs> so they sit down and have dinner. So, you know, Tommy, break the ice and was like, Connie, man, I really appreciate the, the you know, the idea you gave us with the ambulance. I've been looking into it and da da da. And so Teresa was like, mm -mm. like, don't say yeah, too don't much in front of her. her. And Tommy was like, oh, no, no, it's cool. That's I my tell girl. her, girl, I tell her everything. Sorry. The heck of Connie. You might trust her right now, but after you, <laughs> after she behind the sweat, what well, she said, the sweat box, you ain't going to be able to trust her no more. So in other words, when they put the squeeze on her, she going to rat you out. I said, okay. She's like, wait a minute, you wouldn't even know her yet. You and and yeah. is it because she's black? Yeah, exactly. Really? Huh? That's what we do it. But somebody has said in our comments once before, all these goddamn drug lords, Seem to have a problem with black people. Yeah. That do, it do seem like that, don't it? So Tommy, you know, trying to reflect, trying to get things back in to protect his lady. He was like, man, we done been through some skit. That's it. And which they have. Kinda. And then Keisha was like, well, you know, I, you know, we broke up. We got back together. Tommy's, you know, better now. He a man that I always wanted. I got his back. Da, 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 da. And so to rest of them, I guess, satisfied with her now or they just just leave her alone for the moment mm -mm. so then next we see them going back over keisha's and tommy started making his move kissing on us i guess he was trying to get some and uh before he was getting ready to to drop the draws there was a knock on the door and initially tommy was like wait a minute what the, who, the who you got coming over that? here this time or not you know 
She was like, no, but I said maybe her kid found it coming. Oh, we ain't seen the kid in a minute. So Tommy was like, I'm going to answer the door. She said, be my guest. So I answered the door, this dude was like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> I was like, what? I said, I was like, oh. Keisha? And he, he was like, I'm looking for Keisha. And uh, she comes, she said, that's me. And he said, you've been served. Tommy tried to grab him. He took off running. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we know. Now she been served a subpoena that she have to appeal for the grand jury and she ain't feeling it. I wouldn't be feeling it either. No. See, it's a difference in lying to a lawyer and lying to a police officer. But the jury. But the grand jury. Oh, you get caught with perjury with that. You might not never, ever, ever see the light of day again. Mm -mm. And that's what she know. So now she trying to figure out, <laughs> do I love them enough to risk my freedom? And what have y'all done for me lately? Exactly. In which she's been the cover up. We went with the half the half shop that was a company that he did behind her back. They hijacked it. Yeah. So now she's trying to be an alibi for Tasha. And they told her she was going to be fine. Now all of a sudden the police is at her door. That's like, that's like black folk, ain't it? Tell you that, you tell you good. Itch? Yep, tell them you good. Take them out. Next thing you know, you got the police that you don't. So, time was like, you got to keep your word. This is the family. But like on what you call it, but the family. <laughs> fuck my husband. I fucked the, <laughs> the family. I fucked the family to my house and the family fucked my husband. So that's what's happening to her. The family is fucking her right now. Trying to figure out what she gonna do. But Tom is at a point in his life with the family too where he's like, he don't I'm doing him. what I need to do to stay afloat right now. When all of this blows over, we can buck the family and we can just do our own thing. Yeah. But right now, keep on lying. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. Keep us all safe and mainly do it for me. You know, yeah. let's, let's just keep it like that. And whatever Tasha tell you to do, do it. Do it. But at this point, she don't trust Tasha because Tasha told her she was gonna be fine. And she ain't fine. So we see the scene where she ended up confronting Tasha about the whole thing. He was like, I thought we was good. Now I got a subpoena. I don't want to do it. And so Tasha was like, hey, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But at the same time, I want you to do it. I need you to do it because if you don't be the alibi, I'm going to jail. Ghost going to jail. Tommy going to jail. Aunt Tariq going to jail if you don't be our alibi. And Keisha had the perfect response. It's not my problem. And when the last time you Yo, seen cash? Exactly. I said, mm. And Tasha didn't admit, I have been less of the a good, good friend, friend to you. Yeah. I admit it. But this right here, I'm going to need you to have my back. That ain't really good enough, Tasha. To be yeah, honest, it ain't, which no, is really it's not, not good, good enough. Because she risking it all at this point. Risking well, she it. don't have to. Yeah, she don't. I mean, she ain't got nothing to do with any stuff that they got going on. She, she was really, dragged into it. She was strong. She was proctored. <laughs> yeah. No, she was crackhead into it. They crackhead manipulation moves into it. Yeah. So I'm like, at this point, they owe Keisha big time, man. Oh, yeah. They owe her. Yeah, I, yeah. they do. Yeah. They owe her more than the love of Tommy. They need to get her out of there. got doing um, <laughs> that little apartment she yeah, had. Yeah. Exactly. Bring her into the penthouse. Bring her up there, up on the on the high flows with y'all. Exactly. So I don't know, Keisha. You're in a bad spot. I I don't blame you. I want to duck out too. But it's a big rich town. Yeah. So uh, then we see old Kanan over there meeting with the I Italians, not the Italians. I Italians talking to Vincent because now he know that Tommy was the his go-to man. Tommy ain't in the game no more. At the moment, because he got a setback, so he was like, "I can be your man. I got the same product that Tommy had, and it was good stuff, and I got it at a discounted price, cheaper than his." So let's do it. And he was like, "Ain't it some good stuff?" He's like, "So what we waiting for?" And so Vincent was telling the old dude, you know, you know, you know talking Spanish, and yeah. uh, he Tariq. Was, and then Tariq was like, "Yeah, say it, it in yeah, say it in Spanish. Yeah, you can trust him." He was like. Oh, so now I see why you brought you brought. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you got your bodyguard, this is my bodyguard. But I didn't know Tariq knew Spanish. I figured so, he did. So that was a that was a, a a genius genius move. So then we see. Oh wait a minute though, we uh, can't can't bypass the fact that. See, oh yeah. For me. Yeah. This is when 
Mr. Tariq. Turn, yeah. This was a turning point. See, I told y'all, Kane has been playing chess this whole time. Yeah. And everybody else been playing checkers, or maybe they've been playing jacks. I don't know what they've been playing. Spades. But <laughs> even spade players win more than this. <laughs> but this was a turning point because that guy throwing Kanan through um, ghosts ghost under the bus to Vincent in front of Tariq. And Tariq was like, Okay, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Well, I am a killer, so don't really push me. Yeah. Don't do that don't to my, my daddy, man. Yeah. But Kanan got comfortable enough to do so because he knows that the boy hates his dad right now. Yeah. And I said, no, I think you don't messed up right there because he was like, really? Yeah. That's what you're going to do? It's like one of them things I can talk about my daddy. But not you. But not you. I can hate my daddy, but not you. Mm -hmm. Or like friends that get together and talk about each other's stuff. Be like, yeah. oh, oh, that's between us. Yeah. What you don't do is take the information on over there to somebody that's not in the group. <laughs> so, yeah. That was a turning point. So uh, we see uh, Tasha call Tariq from college back to the house with her and Angela. Because they wanted to work with Tariq to set up Kanan. But by this time, Kanan really is t totally in Tariq's head. Uh, but Tariq didn't fall for it. He was like, why am I going to work with her? She was the one that messed our family up. Huh. She's the one that bucked up all this right here. So in their words, buck her, buck you, I'm not doing this. I'm going in the room. I'm going in the room. And I was like, first of all, Tasha, is you going to smack the spit out his mouth for talking to you like that? Uh -uh. That's what's wrong with these kids today. They can just say whatever they want to say, how they want to say it, and get away with it. And the part that got me was when he said, Kanan has had my back. Yeah. Tasha said, ain't nobody ever had your, your back, back the way that I have had. had your back. And so you that. need to choose me. He said, you need to find another plan. Yep. Tasha, if you don't throw him out of that bulletproof window. Exactly. Exactly. So now we got old Mr. Proctor and finally got his license back. Now he all of a sudden, he want to try to do the right thing. <laughs> so we see a scene where... He gets questioned from uh, John mocking them about the uh, Marshall killing in the prison. He was like, do you know anything about that? He was like, I don't know anything about it. So they try to get that information out of him. He didn't let them know anything. So at this point, we see him with, because uh, when he was coming in to be questioned, his cousin Benny had just got finished getting questioned. Because you know them, they've been hanging together, so they think, you know, some ill stuff is going on between them. So then we see a scene where the laptop came back up with him and Benny in the, in the truck van, whatever they was in. And Proctor was like, I got enough information on this laptop that can take down Egan and St. Patrick. So I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So after all that y'all have been through and now you got your license back, you now you want to throw the money to bus and change. I like that's some black stuff for you right there. And even Benny was like, hold on. He was like, wait a minute, you think that's the right move? You trust them? Are yeah, they yeah. good to you? Yeah. It's like, well, I like them. I do. Yeah. Do I trust them? I'm on the lowest of the of the, um, of oh, the priority list. list for the people that they were that um they trust. So I was like, Proctor, we really we we Nah, we we, we, we have taken a liking to you. Yeah. So what we, we're not gonna do is this. Nah, we can't. You you've been a shady lawyer. And because he was like, he told Benny, he was like, pretty much, you know, we friends and all, but I was kind of strong arming into this. <laughs> so they used her addiction yeah. to get me to do whatever the fuck exactly. they wanted me to do. Now I ain't got those problems no more. Yeah. So but said, at the same time, you could have, if you didn't want to be involved with them because the paper was coming, you should have been got out. And he was snorting too yeah. at one point. Exactly. But you know how it is with them crackheads, boy. Mm hmm Crackhead moves, man. They get they get clean and everything's supposed to go right. So, um, to finish it up towards the end of the episode, we see him back in the office with the, with the crew. And he tells him, was like, I don't know anything on them, but I can tell you this. I think Angela Valdez is the one that's helping them out. But... I don't give a hill of beans because Angela's name has been in everything. You know, she's been yeah. in everything. And she don't ever go down. Because the writer got a got a on for her. Yeah, she don't ever. Every time we think they got the squeeze on her and she going down, she wiggle her way out of it. She going to be the last one standing if you ask me. Yeah, that's that's what it looked like to me. So um, 
we see finally Kanan tries to give Tariq the one-on-one of the drug game. So he had a kilo of coke, a pound of weed, and had a, a pack of a thousand of the, uh, what was that? Xanax. Xanax. And uh, Tariq was like, I can I can definitely push these um, Xanax at the school. This would be easy right here. And, and then he went to grab the kilo and was like, yeah, I'm going to get this too. They like, put that skit down. He said, you got a plan? How you plan on moving that skit? Where you and, gonna hide your money? Yeah, where you gonna hide your money? Matter of fact, you don't want to be caught with both of these. He said, matter of fact, uh, what you learned over, what you taking over at the college? He started naming them all the skit he taking to the college. He said, exactly. They ain't, they ain't teaching you what I'm doing them. over here. <laughs> <laughs> I said that was so funny. They ain't teaching you what I'm doing over here. So, so since Tariq is the one of Canaan's disciples, you know what? So you being disciple. Once you teach somebody something, then you got to put them out there to yeah. see if they can do what they've been taught. So he was like, "Hey, take these Xanax. I need you to go and sell." He was like, "How I'm gonna do that?" No, back at the, back at the warehouse, you was ready to sell. Now all of a sudden, you got the product to go sell. Now you scared. Now you don't know what to do. So he was like, "Hey, figure it out." So I don't know what span of time it was. He came back in the car. It came, it was like, "Oh no, no, no! Ain't no way you sold that skit that fast." He said, "Psh, taking the money." Kanan said, this 20 is fake. They said, got you. They got you. They got you. So Tariq looked over and was like, wait a minute. He right there. Roll on up. Give him the gap. He got out, got the drugs back. And Kanan was like, that's right. You know, you mess up. Don't give up. You got the money back. Da, da, da. But I think that Kanan set him up. I do too. I think he set him up to teach him a lesson that, just because somebody gave you some cash and you sold it real fast, don't mean it's legit. Cause I probably wouldn't have checked to see if, you know, you know at the store when you give them a hundred dollar bill, they putting that skit up to the light, yeah, uh -huh. checking, you know, see if it's if it's legit or not. Then you actually you feel bad. I feel bad when they do that. I'm like, wait a minute, you think my so money? You fake? accusing me? Yeah, <laughs> or bring you fake money? But people do all the time. All the time. So yeah, I think um, I think he was mm. set up yeah. for a lesson. So as they were riding down the street, Tariq you know, asked Kanan, was like, wait, so so you killed Sean? And then Kanan admitted to him, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I did. But I loved him though. But he won't like me and you. He won't talk you like me. You are more yeah. of a son. You than more of a son. Yeah. Plus I ain't never had no DNA on him anyway. I said, yeah. I was like, what? Come on now. Something about that just rubbed me wrong. And yeah. I said, yeah. I know everybody been debunking the whole. Could they be, could, could Raina and Tariq? Yeah. But I'm like, <laughs> the writer to me just seems to be too involved in Twitter, debunking the myths. Yeah. And I'm like, sometimes you know they do that to throw people off, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> They'll tell you anything. Mm hmm So, Tariq was like, but how are you going to kill somebody you love? And Kayla was like, you know, you ain't a true killer. They say you ain't until you, you do. And so, like, his wheels started turning. So, Tariq's wheels started turning. I was like, so... What's about to happen? Is he going to try to kill his mama? That's what I thought. Is he going to try to kill his daddy? Because he told him to take me home. Yeah, I'm ready take to me go home. Because Tasha had been texting him anyway. And he texted her back and said, yeah. I'm in Queens. Yeah. And I said, he going home to kill his mom. I was like, oh, man. But no. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. And then I see... Like the whole, there was a time lapse because I said, okay, it was daytime. Now it was nighttime. nighttime. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Yeah. Oh, boy. So we don't forget that uh, Ghost that came into the room and was talking to Reed, uh about the plan to uh, to frame Dre. So he was like, Tariq was like, hey, you go again. You don't want to take the rap for nothing. You want to deflect it off. But... He was like, what happens if that don't pan out? So Ghost was like, nah, I I'm not gonna let your mama go down for this. So if it all the plan don't work, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go down for it. I'm gonna take the rap. And then you see Tariq Will start turning again. Cause you gotta remember that everything that they say to Tariq, he going back and thinking about what Kanan said. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Saying that Ghost was so Kanan got it in his head because Kanan make it look like he was on their side, but they turned against him. Uh -huh. And that he still got respect for them, but he don't have respect for them for what they did set him up. So, Tariq is at a, a place right now where he's like, okay, 
Oh, do, I need to, do I need to trust this dude? This dude killed his son. And so, if I make a wrong move. Me too. I'm going to be out of here. So, I'm glad that Ghost had that kind of, I don't, I don't believe Ghost. <laughs> but, but anyway. I believe him. Oh, not why. I don't know. I don't know. Ghost, Ghost likes some people in our life. They talk a good game, but the execution is just way off. <laughs> What you look? I'm just checking my phone. So you just check. So uh, then we see a scene where um, Tariq and uh, Kanan. No, let me talk about this first. Let's talk about uh, we saw the scene where uh, Ghost was talking to uh, Councilman Tate. Hmm. And uh, he told him that you need to separate yourself from Dre. And he was like, why well, didn't you do that? Hmm. He was like, the reason why I fired Dre because I found out that he was running drugs through my club. He said, I checked my books and he was like, I'm making all this money. Ain't no way I was making all this money this fast. And I found out that the Bassett group, I think he running over there too because they making a whole lot of money fast. So you need to separate yourself from him because when he go down, you going down. So he was like, well, what do you want me to do? He said, I want you to stay close with me. So when he go down, you'll go up with me. And now, you know, of course, that made sense to him. Yeah, that made sense to him. It was like, oh, wait a minute. I ain't about to go down for his drugs. Because <laughs> you know how it is when you rolling with somebody. You ain't got to know nothing about nothing that they doing, but they're going to swear to God that you was help doing it. And I don't even think it would come down to that is somebody close to you just got taken down about something and you're running right now yeah that's gonna affect your running yeah so that's what it's gonna do for him buck the drugs because he can definitely say he had nothing to do with that yeah which he doesn't he it's, the, it's the affiliation yeah the association guilty by association we all know about that yeah yep so uh we see uh crystal ball and uh dre uh go meet with um what's her name god darn it um the lawyer yeah so before they went over there, Dre had told Crystal Ball, say, you know, when we talked to her, you address me as Mr. Cone. I said, here we go, Dre on this books kid. I said, okay. <laughs> you gotta give it to Dre though. Dre can wear a suit. Yeah, he can. And then Crystal Ball came in and I said, Whoa! Yeah, they, you they, can wear a suit too. So they said, you look like you casket ready. <laughs> <laughs> so they go to meet with her, and so they find out that Dre is about ready to get on the ground, ready to take a trip to Paris. Um, and Crystal Ball was being addressed as Diego. I said, I said, what? Because of course what? Diego's dead. Like, yeah. Like, Nobody what? knows. What? I said, okay. So he's supposed to handle all the Dre's affairs while he's on business travel. And so Crystal Ball goes to tell them, tell him that, yeah, I can run the club. It was like, matter of fact, I was doing it for my uncle in Miami. You know, you know, when I was doing it, I was helping him out. And then when I got 18, I became my own promoter. And so it flowed. He said, okay, we in, she said, we in good hands. And gave him the card. Said, call me at any time. But that seemed like that was a booty call right there. Mm -hmm. But that's a whole nother story. So when he walked away, Dre was like, man, I love that story. And Chris and Bob was like, why well, I got to be a story? And he looked at him like, <laughs> and I said, you better listen. Yeah. Check out the people in your organization here. Exactly. So, um, we saw another, I want to talk about this. We saw another scene where, uh, cause you know, every time that Tommy and, and Kanan are together, Ghost always shows up and dismisses Kanan. And Kanan was like, why every time that you show up, you got to make me leave like I'm some kind of kid or something. <laughs> but during that scene, Diego had came up some kind of way, some kind of way came up in the conversation. And the head. yeah, and he was like, uh, I can get the head. I got the I got Dio's here. Matter of fact, I'll bring it back to y'all when I come back though. It was like it was like okay. Yeah. All right. Because now Tommy is pissed off because Tommy found out that Ghost didn't kill Diego, that he used Kanan. Because you know right now, Tommy don't trust Ghost at all because he ain't Kanan. under he ain't under plans. And then, like we said, Kanan is playing chess. Told Tommy, said, he ain't tell you that. But you know what ghost is always a body for a body. So who who didn't get killed? Is it you? Is it me? Is it me? Who it going to be? And hang a time for wheels to get the Who was supposed to be got dead? Yeah, who was supposed to be got dead? <laughs> who was supposed to be got dead? 
<laughs> yeah. So I don't blame. I wouldn't trust him either, man. Cause, nah. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him either, like on that front. But at the same time, Tommy all be doing stuff behind his back. So both of them kind of. I don't know. No. Can I talk about the part that had me laughing? I had to tell you to pause it. When Tommy and Ghost was checking out Dre and Crystal Ball. Yeah. I don't know if we got to this part yet, but y'all already seen it. Yeah. They won't take Dre out, so they had to basically find out where he was. So they had eyes on him. And when Dre and Crystal Ball came out that guy doing hotel club or wherever they were, <laughs> Tommy said, Hey, look, ghost. They look like me and you. <laughs> he said, Seth, I would never wear a suit. And he said, look at Drake, crusted balls and everything. Oh, yeah. I said, well, <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, they look like me and you. <laughs> I said, you got a boy. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. So we saw that at this point, Tommy and Ghost got the plan to catch Dre when he come out the hotel to get the drop on him. So by this time, Ghost is over at the house to go get the gun from Tasha from the safe. So he looking at the safe, safe loaded full of money, but no gun. So Ghost was like, wait a minute, Tasha, where's the gun? And she had that look. I and said, she had that look. I said, here we go again. Cause in my mind I said, oh Lord, <clears throat> Tariq stole the he gun. He stole the gun when he, when he was back at the house. And so by this time, Tommy is texting Ghost like, I see my eyes on Dre. Where the fuck are you at? What's going on? So at this time, I thought that Tommy was gonna take it into his own hand, snatch Dre up. But when Dre walked by, he kept on going. He turned around like he ain't see him. He had like he was a homeless. Yeah. Um, like he was homeless and had um, a gimp leg or something. So at this, at the same time, we see Tariq and them riding, and the five O rolled up on them. And so Kane was like, "Be cool." We ain't got nothing to hear. We good. Act natural. Do what they say. Mm -hmm. So they rose up. And Tariq was like, what you want me to do with the gun? You know what? He says, put it under the seat. It's all good. And so the police rose up. Asked for license and registration. Asked for Tariq's like, um, registration, um, license ID too. I don't know why they asked for the passion's ID. They ain't but driving we, the car. We, but we, we know we when you black, everybody get ID'd in the mm -hmm. car. So... <clears throat> they uh asked Tariq, you okay, son? You okay? And so then we flip back, we see Ghost still arguing with Tasha and come to find out Tasha done set up that Tariq that set up Kanan in the car by planting the freaking gun in the trunk. And all of this is going down. And all this going at the same time and Ghost just loses it and I lost it too. I was like, Tasha, what the heck are you doing? He said, what the fuck, you Tasha? Know, you know Kanan is not going to go down easy. You put our son at risk. You know how he is. So we flip back over and we see the police and got Tariq them out the car with their hands on the thing and asked Tariq, are you being held against your will? And he was kind of reluctant. He was like, Kane was like, go ahead and take the boy. Because they found the gun. Because they the found the gun in the trunk. So. Tasha's gun. Yeah. So. Kane was like, I haven't been in cuffs in a long time. Take it easy. I said, that works. Yeah. But it did. So he turns around and just start open following all of them. Just boom, boom, boom. And by this time, Tariq in the back of the car, he's scared. And I would have been scared too. And can't get out. And can't get out. They locked him in there. So Kanan is shooting all the police off, shooting, shooting. So he finally got shot. Then there was two left. So he went over and followed the woman first. Then the other guy, the other police, he just got bold, just came straight on up. And he shot him again. So he ended up shooting the police again. And by this time, Tariq saw him when he rolled up to shoot the police. And I was like, oh, hell. He was right there at the window. I said, oh, hell. He going to kill Tariq. I said, it's over. He going to kill Tariq. But he went and got into one of the police cars and was riding all spitting out blood. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? What's going I said, on? He didn't kill it? Yeah, and then, then he was riding and he ran into a pole. I was like, wait a minute, so is he dead? What? Is he dead? I really wasn't convinced. Yeah, so we just thought passed out. Yeah, so we thought we thought that he was uh dead the last time mm -hmm. and he won't dead. So then we see a scene where they was at the station. And I guess Tariq was the first one that got questioned, but when they came back out, they was like, 
Now we need to question you, Tasha, and you, St. Patrick. So they go through all the questions. Y'all saying I ain't going through the whole thing of what they did because y'all saw it. But it was brilliant. And Tariq so, puts one in on 10. I'm going to say Ghost Jr. put it on 10 was crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. To you. I'm sorry. We were killing. I'm sorry. You know, I'm so awful. So. And he had tears and I said. See, yep. And you can see Tasha, she would get ready to laugh. She would get ready to laugh. And but, go, but go sit. Go sit back there like this. Like, Tariq, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck it up. For the first time, he was out of control. Yeah. He did not have control over this situation. But the plan worked out brilliant. Where now they think Kanan was the one that killed Ray Ray. Wow. And then we seen Angela with her head up high. Um, when she saw, um, what you call it in the hallway, it was, I can't remember that um, off, uh, God, God darn it. I got her name right on the tip of my tongue. Y'all know who her name yeah. is. And don't get in the comments some of with the name, you know, we about, we said, we ain't about the name thing. And give, gave her her files back. Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. yeah. Gave her her files back. Like you said, this is below my pay grade. I yeah. said, that's a boss move, though. Yep. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Not even gonna lie about it. <laughs> Yup, gave her the files back. I was like, yeah, that's a boss move right there. But uh then we see uh I don't know what um uh Ghost and, and Tommy was doing when they was at the thing where, where it was ID in his body because you yeah. gotta remember, he don't have family. That's right, that's right. He killed Jukebox, who was the close which was his cousin, right? Yeah. And Sean and his son is dead, he killed him. But yep. he don't kill everybody. Yeah, he did. So he don't have anybody to identify his body, so the People that's closest to him, that's like brothers to him. Yeah, they had to go down and identify the body. So they pulled the sheet back. They was like, yeah, that's him. And by this time, Tommy was like, you who just are you? Who are you? You just, you just killing everybody. And Ghost was like, this ain't this me. This ain't me. He was like, Tasha, this is all Tasha. She he put said, all this so together. So you gonna lie? So you gonna lie on, on your wife? No. He said, no. No, he said, this was all Tasha, which is... Which is a one hundred percent true. But Tommy said, "I I can't even believe that." Right I can't. Now. Yeah, I can't and believe. Walked out. He said. Yeah. Tommy said, "Like he done." Tommy was like, <laughs> "How many more bodies? Yeah. Do we have to do, man? First this one, first this. Now him. <laughs> How I'm tired. <laughs> but I I don't even know if I believe the Canaan did because we thought he was dead the last time when they burnt him up. Uh, he might be, he's dead because the law is in it now. So they I, ain't gonna mess it up. I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. This I don't is... know. But at the same time, I think Tariq is gonna continue to try to rise. I don't think he's just gonna back off. What can you tell a son that just did all of this? Yeah. Like, what What can you say? Yeah. See, he been, he been um, infiltrated now. Kane yeah. done got his head. He pumped up now. He about to run all yeah. the colleges. Yep, he about to run all that junk. Well. As the number one and not the number two. Hell, he gonna have Crystal Ball working for him in a minute. <laughs> and so, then we see uh, Dre, them, they at the, um, in the kitchen, I guess it was the kitchen of the hotel and walk, and we see Diego's head up on one of the got on <laughs> shelves, and Dre was like, <gasps> and the cops coming in. And the in. cops coming in behind him. And I said, who planted that head? Yeah, Wait, who? Tommy? Yeah, cause I was like, it can't, it couldn't be Ghost, cause he, had time. he was arguing with Tasha. Only one I could think of was either Tommy or Crystal Ball. That's the only thing I could think about. Yeah, cause, cause I don't, I don't too. know if Kanan would have did it. I don't know what time frame he would have had to do it. And why? And why? So I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this head. Who y'all think? Um, yeah, who the head? The head? Yeah. So. That was it, boy. That was the end of the episode. All right. Like we said, that was that was a, a good episode. And uh, we'll be talking to y'all in the comments, as always, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To uh, To town. Holla.